So today we have a very special event on a secret map in Plunes D6 which is called Protect the Yacht. Now you guys have probably seen this. This is the map that rolled out with the Mr. Beast promotion every year actually. And I call this a secret map because you cannot access this map through the traditional menu. So if you hit play on the main menu and then you try and find it, you're not going to find this one. But you can create a challenge and then you can, through the challenge, you essentially play this map if you wanted to. Now I'm actually excited about this one because we've never had a boss on this map i don't think i think maybe we've had it like once in a challenge or something like that but that's about it and on top of this this is no ordinary boss event so let me show you guys the modifiers we're playing elite dreadloon with the sub and the super monkey band this is for a reason by the way but taking a look at the other ones it's the ceramic health and the more health are uh, hovering around 70 percent and then the boss health at 40 percent which you might say is too little but at the same time the boss speed is 300 percent so this guy is probably i don't know like a play through the normal one and he, look, he looked like he's as fast as vortex i'm gonna be honest now the reason why the boss health is at 40% is well uh, it has to do a little bit with the speed obviously but it's something else as well and that's the fact that this map actually is well very short even though you can see the balloons coming out from the bottom side like they're walking on top of these containers and everything if let me just pick up the sniper and let me show you guys where the fog of war is so as you guys can see all the containers become red which means that you cannot see on top of them and the actual map and the actual track actually starts like this where my mouse is so you're only gonna have like this portion of the map to defend the boss which is really really short now on top of this defending this map should should be a little bit it might require a little bit more money than usual just because this if i had to classify this this would probably be something like an advanced map i would say but the good thing is that we're playing on easy difficulty so uh, there's a lot of water space there's a lot of land which means that we can probably do whatever we want with the farming but we need to get there eventually so i chose quincy as the starting hero we're gonna start with the free dog monkey i'm gonna try and be as greedy as possible in these early rounds as usual but we are gonna have to defend as well so there's a little bit of a thing that you can do on this map with defending so i'm gonna actually gonna go for one one more farm, I think. Do we agree that because the prices are in easy mode? I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm gonna agree that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a wizard, which is gonna go like this. And then what you can do is, and I'm gonna go for the middle pad, the wall of fire, and we're gonna go for the top crossbite actually. So it's gonna be a one two zero on this guy. So let's be careful on this one. This is gonna be around 14. We're gonna have a bunch of yellows. Let's see how we do. Yeah, we're leaking on this one. Yeah, this is exactly why I didn't think the greeting out this is gonna be a good idea. So we have the money for the wall of fire. I'm gonna use the level three quincy ability just to save a bunch of lives. And what you can do with the guided magic crossbow is you can have the wall of, tar of wall of fire target anywhere and on this specific map if you have it targeting like this it is actually the aoe on the flames is so big that it's actually going to be able to defend both tracks at once so this is like a little bit of a cheat code if you guys want to use it you guys see this pink balloons incoming and all these guys from both sides are actually going to be popping so yeah there we go that's how we're going to defend the early rounds all right so round 32 and i'm just checking with you guys so i wanted to get all three of these farms in the range of a discount village so we can get a little bit of cheaper marketplaces i wasn't able to get this guy in the range but it's completely fine and then i I'm just spamming these bows because one merchantman costs 1.7k, which is ridiculously cheap. Again, we're playing on easy mode, so these prices are a little bit cheaper than usual. All right, guys, round 39, a little bit of an update for you guys on what's happening. So I upgraded this guy to a dragon's breath. I want to get, you know, this this more consistent attack. We have four marketplaces. I think we have a total of 10 merchantmen, and I also focus all of these these farming towers on the left side because the trade balloon is gonna appear on the left side as well. And actually, before the boss reaches us, let me just show you something. So let me use one of the spike storms and look at where the spikes are landing. And as you guys can see. Dread Balloon is not even taking damage. So while the balloons are over here, like they're not even taking damage. So this is essentially the track, as you guys can see where my mouse is. It's a very short one, is what I'm saying. So I was thinking of doing a little bit of an experiment of doing this with the jungle drums and then the turbo charge. And I'm using the turbo charge because there's not that much HP on Dread on Dread Balloon, like in general. So let me use one of the abilities and let's see how it goes. Okay, so these guys actually do a decent amount of damage, I think. Oh no, is it gonna be fast enough though? Oh, wait a minute. We might need maybe like we would have needed like one more spikes oh my thing am i correct about that thing i don't know let me just keep buying these bows because we do have a lot of money so let me just not have the money like sitting around just like doing nothing okay so one spike storm okay so these guys are actually doing a decent amount of damage to the boss but it is just <laughs> it's not enough oh my god oh did i make a mistake maybe we need to buy the carpet of spikes actually i mean it is a lot cheaper and we can restart this whole thing but let me just try it like this look at how fast this guy is by the way this is like guys this is like vortex or something like that uh let's use the ability one more time that's gonna be the last one and then this is gonna be the boomer sh is the boomer gonna shine guys i use the ability and we don't need the spikes anymore where's the second one let me sell the spikes do we have enough money for the promo charge i'm gonna buy the promo charge actually let's see if we can get this thing done i think we will get it done actually but that was a huge that was a very expensive tier one with all these tier fives and two spike storms and guys this is exactly the reason why well the boss hp is 40 percent because the track and and the point at which you can start damaging the boss is just way too short all right so let's get it going let's start buying up our boat 
boots. So we're going to be boat farming in general, but here's what I want to do. Let me sell all of these uh, farms at the top. Let me just create like a miniopolis, which is going to make all of these guys make a lot more money as well. For the next few rounds, I'm just going to be buying merchantmen and we're going to be buying uh, the central markets because that is the main way that we're going to be making money. But there's a lot of farming space in this map. So that means that we might even do like some top path farming. So uh, yeah, let me just place a couple of boats and I'm going to see you guys in a second. Yeah, we're going to be protecting the yacht. All right, look at the amount of boats that we were able to fit on this map. Okay, so tier one is coming out and I actually have not bought a single defensive tower because I don't know what I want to do for this one. Actually, I do know one thing and that, let me just buy the, buy this guy, the Summer Phoenix and we have a lot of money. So I, I was actually thinking of defending it with the spikes again and then maybe we can go into the mad effort we're done with the military immunity, but I'm still not sure. Yeah, let's try it like this. Let me get the carpet of spikes. Let me not forget to buy the white hot spikes, by the way. And I'm not sure if one spike storm is going to be enough. So let's uh, go. We, by the way, you have a lot of money so maybe we can even go for something like a dark peg on but let's just chill let's try and do it like this so these spikes yeah they're starting to do damage right now so i'm just gonna keep using these abilities off cooldown because the goal is to get rid of the military immunity and once we do we can just buy the man and hopefully that's gonna be enough okay now this guy's speeding up look at this thing look how fast he's going oh my god it's 300 man this if you don't have enough damage i can definitely see how much how this can become a problem but the fact that we're playing on easy mode i think just makes this run a little bit easier maybe if this was a normal it, it would have been a different story but all right it's a huge mess on screen because i'm just using these uh, these spike storm abilities left and right and then let's sell all of these guys because we don't need them anymore the military immunity is gone and so if we do this with the mad now this should be fine right we're gonna have the ability in a second that's gonna be the magic community now i'm gonna use the ability for the support i see some rock balloons actually wait a minute did i speak too soon by saying that this is gonna be a little bit too easy let me just get rid of the boss and now we need to micro the dolphin actually a little bit because these rock balloons they stay on the track even after you pop the boss so let's just make sure we don't lose to them and I'm migrating. I'm trying to target these guys. 130 lives. We still have not leaked a single one of these guys. 100. Oh, we leaked one, I think. Or how many lives is one of these guys? I don't know. We defended, and that was a tier two. And you know what? If you have a better economy than mine, you could probably buy like like a dark paragon or something like that. But that is the tier two. So we have a very strong economy, and we have about 270 thousand dollars, which we're gonna put back into farming. So let's try and make as much money as possible. And I'm gonna see you guys for the tier three. All right, it's round 73, and that did not take long actually to fill the entire map with farming towers. So a bunch of boats, almost all the space. Actually, maybe we can fit all. Oh, I missed some. Yes, we can fit a couple more boats. Let's just do it. And now it's actually the entire map. Hopefully, the entirety of the map filled with farming towers. But yeah, a bunch of boats, a bunch of farms. We bought all three tier five farms. We have these central markets buffing our boats. We have a bunch of four to zero farms. We have the banana central here up top. It's not getting overclocked, but let's let's not push it because I think it's fine. <laughs> and guys, this is about it. So uh, the only thing we have to worry about is defending. So yeah, the track is still short, and that's not gonna change well until the, the rest of the game so what we need to do is we just need to buy these good paragon degrees and we're gonna be fine and in comes a tier three now we have a lot of money especially for this portion of the game so we can essentially buy all these paragons without buying sacrificial towers is what i'm saying so i want to have the apex plasma master right here i'm gonna put all the money the maximum that you can we're gonna get get a degree 60 i think it's gonna be yeah there we go but because there's gonna be primary immunity onto this guy we need to buy one more paragon and i was thinking of just getting the ninja we only need the sticky projectiles from this guy so let me just have the ninja like this let me get the ascended shadow and i don't think i'm gonna be putting any more money into this guy i mean maybe okay let, maybe just a little bit like two hundred thousand dollars what's the degree that we're gonna get onto this guy it's gonna be it's uh, something it's fine wait why is the ninja not throwing the charges is my question because i know for a fact that, like like we saw these boats attack triple and i know that if you buy the dolphin the dolphin is gonna attack it i i don't know but i don't think it's gonna be an issue because oh my god what is happening to this boss and this is like this is even normal speed the paragon is going insane. What, what where did this guy go what just happened what, what what's happening the rock balloons didn't even make it to us that's how fast we defeated the boss all right i mean that was the tier three you know the dark dragon is actually really nice because well I, I think i showed you guys but there's like the fog on the left side right so uh, whenever these dark projectiles get launched they bounce off of these containers and they go back so that's why the dark dragon is actually really really good onto this map and i mean we saw it ourselves i guess so uh yeah nothing more to add onto this one so i'm gonna see you guys to the tier four i want to buy the buccaneer paragon as well so let's just focus that one next okay so let's actually buy the navark pretty early because i don't think that we're necessarily gonna need the money or well actually firepower because i think that believe it or not the dark 
Pyrrhic is gonna be the MVP on this one. As soon as you get rid of the primary immunity, he's just gonna beat this thing by itself, I think. So let's uh, buy the Navarch and let's put all the money that we can into this thing. It's gonna be a pretty high degree, by the way. 74. Oh my god, all of those boats. Yep, we have a lot of firepower going our way. So we're gonna have a military and a primary Paragon. So the next one should be something different. And I was thinking maybe we buy the wizard because we don't usually buy that Paragon. So let's get the wizard next, I guess. So tier 4 Triplin is out, and I thought you guys might be interested to see how fast this guy is gonna go down. So the uh, the neighbor is gonna start attacking it in a second, and this is mainly the planes. Now, this is degree 74, so it's actually melting it, and the, the HP is at 40%. So I don't expect you know this to be too much of a trouble for it. But uh, let's watch the Dark Paragon now. So so far, the Dark Paragon, I don't think, is attacking Triplin directly. So as soon as this guy goes into his range, do I want to fast forward this? I always, you know, I always get excited when I see you know the, this fast forward super damage happening on a boss or like a beefy balloon something like that so i'm actually gonna do it let me fast forward let's just watch how fast this guy's gonna disappear and that is gone <laughs> that's actually crazy how much damage it does yeah this is like a cool map for the dark paragon for sure so uh not, not too difficult this boss event so far i would say but let's see how the tier 5 goes and the tier 5 is out so 5 million hp on this guy we got both of the paragons that we had previously so the navark and the apex plasma master but i also wanted to buy the wizard so let me just get the wizard like this and i'm gonna put all the money that we have into this thing and it's gonna be a degree of 42 i think i saw yeah there we go and let's see how this guy's gonna do so we can, can we get the metamorphosis ability to use it once i don't take so i think the damage is gonna be way too much actually and you know what i have a feeling that the dark paragon is still gonna be the mvp but this guy is this boss is moving way too fast okay so i i think that the only thing that you need to worry about is just well farming good or at least doing well with farming and if you do well with farming you're gonna be able to afford all of these towers and wait a minute this guy is making it a little bit farther yep 300 percent speed this guy is moving super fast are we gonna be oh i think we're gonna be able to defend it by the way we're gonna have the metamorphosis so let's actually use it right now this thing just shreds the boss and i know that it's like a huge mess on screen with all these projectiles but i think we actually have this thing so yeah you have to you have to just farm really hard onto this thing and oh, not even worried guys not even worried for a second oh my god <laughs> okay that was actually close okay that was actually close we got it done all right but uh yeah i guess you know just farm hard i think farming is different difficult onto this event so you guys are probably gonna be able to do it no problem let's check the power count before we go to so 60 million on the navark four on the wizard and then 11 on the dark monkey and yeah just get your high paragon degrees and this one should be no issue although the track is super short so be careful about that one but that's gonna be for this one thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'm gonna see you on the next one